Hello guys, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at how to create a Windows app with Flutter. And before we get started, before we start coding, actually, there are some things we need to install. Like yeah, we need the Visual Studio, and we should know that Visual Studio is different from Visual Studio Code. So after you download your Visual Studio, then you also need to install the desktop development with C++. If you need the link to Visual Studio, I'll leave it in the description below. And then after that, we need to add the Fluent UI to our sportspec.yaml file. Now, what is Fluent UI? As we know, Android has a material that and iOS have Cupertino design. So Fluent UI is the design of Windows. And we are using it because we want our users to have the feel that they are on a Windows app and after you have done all this, it's time to start coding. So first thing we'll do is to import the Fluent UI. And after doing this, we have our void main. My app. Okay, and when you have done this, create a stateless widget called my hub. And here, instead of returning the material app, we return fluent app. And we can try to run this. Now, this may take a while, but while running this, I would love to show us that in case you've created your project in a long time, I want to add the windows you want to configure it to be able to run on windows all you just have to do is flutter create platforms mm -hmm. equals to windows and add the full stop and this will actually make it easy for your instead of just starting a new project you just add this at the root of your project flutter creates platforms equals to Windows and add this period at the back and it will actually create your Windows app and then you'll be able to run it easily on Windows. So let's wait for this to finish running actually. And here is our Windows app. So you can see it is a blank screen. Everything is black. Let's add more the home property. And now in the home property, instead of having a scaffold, we won't be having a scaffold. We'll be having navigation, navigation view. And in our navigation view, how to add navigation panel. So we we'll have the pane and here we we'll have navigation pane. We we'll have the items here, which will be a list. We we'll have pane items and pane item will consist of icon. Let's go over, over it. Consists of icon, a title, info badge. I will, I'll only be add, adding icon and the title. So instead of having icons dot, we'll be having fluent icons dot. I'll be using the game icon. And then my title, I have a text called game. All right, so let me copy this and paste it three times. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl V, and if I save this, we have it now. So let me also add an app by here. Up, so navigation app bar. We need the title as you know. The text should be fluent UI tutorial and if I save this yeah it is but you can see a little a small icon pointing to the back so to remove that just have your automatically imply leading to be false and it is gone okay and let's see can also add background color which I won't be adding now. 
let's continue let's now we have our pin items but they are not working we can't navigate anywhere so how do we make sure we can navigate we have the selected property here and i'll call it index so let me change this to my states to a stateful widget integer of index equals to zero and i'll have an unchanged which i have value inside here so if one of these navigation pin items are selected then it should change to the to it should switch to that page we are going to but we have not created the pages yet so i have index equals to value and if I save this, I have to restart because I switched from a stateless widget to a stateful widget. So if I should tap here, we have not created the pages yet, that's why it is not working yet. Also, we can change how we want our pin items to look, which will be display mode, the pin display mode dot. We have all these, but I love the compact, so I'll be using the compact. And now we are getting the windows fill now. Now let's add our body property. So yeah, I have the content and I have the navigation body. We need some argument like the index and my index is equals to index what else do we need the children okay and inside my children now i can have a type of scaffold which is called scaffold page and i'll create three of these because i have three navigation items ctrl c ctrl v and ctrl v okay Let's make this smooth. And inside our scaffold page, we have header, which I will have, call it text. And I am the first page. First page. And then we also have the content. Center widgets. And we have a child of a text too which will be this is the first page okay so let me copy this header and content into the other pages ctrl v and if i check this now this is the first page so let me change this one to the second page so we'll see very well second second all right i think he's not navigating oh let me check what's wrong oh all right we need to call a set state function inside here so set state index equals to value and Let's check it now. So I'm the first page, I'm the second page. And as you can see, I love the little blue navigation here, the way it is just navigating. So there's nothing on the third page. Let me add it. There's actually a widget I love and it is called, anyways, we'll see it now, a text of this is the third page and in my content i'll have tree view so inside the tree view i need a con i need let me see over here items all right so i need items and then tree view item content Will be a text and i'll call it 
floater platforms and then we have children it should contain three view item too so this this will be a text of windows let me copy and paste this ctrl c windows mac android so you can add any each of the platforms you want i'll just be stopping here and we can see the three widgets also you can read more about the things you can add here and also we can also add a theme to our navigation view affluent here i mean so team let's check the dark mode team data dead dark and you can see we just have the typical windows view it's just looking as if you're actually building this for windows and it is actually for windows so if you enjoy this video kindly subscribe to my channel like this video and also share this video to people you 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 think might need it also if you need any video from me you can add it to the comment section the source code will be in the comment as well and i'll see you in the next lesson